The exhibition came from the book called The Beckett Country, which was written for Samuel Beckett's 80th birthday in 1986. It was a book showing his origins in Dublin, uh, not just Dublin, but the environs of Dublin, particularly Fox Rock, Dunleary, the Dublin Mountains. The people who were writing about Beckett, and there was a large secondary literature developing, didn't understand his Irish way of expressing things, his Irish humour, and they didn't understand that there were places like Step Aside, which other people thought was a surrealistic concept. And so I began to relate his work to place. And, uh, I used to go regularly to Paris and bring with me the photographs, the photography for the book, and we would go through it all together and he would say, yes, I know this place, but I've never been there. Where is that? It looks beautiful. And we would go on in that vein, and sometimes the photographs caused him sadness and pain and because they brought back memories of childhood and his parents and so on. He was very pleased with it. In fact, he, he said, when it came out, my gratitude for this kindly light on other days. There is in Beckett's writing tremendous compassion that comes through continuously. In fact, he, he identified with the, the disadvantaged and the deranged in society rather than the rich and beautiful. Uh, and it was for that that he got the Nobel Prize. And so I think this compassion is important. I think it's important that doctors also relate to the humanities and rather than just learning the science of what the body is about, they can learn what, the, what it is like to suffer, what it is like to be in pain and what it is like to have joy. And the exhibition has travelled the world, it's been to America and all around Europe um, and this is the first time it's been shown in the last I'd say 10 years in its entirety. It's now on permanent loan to UCD.